Hi everyone, it's Kyo again. In this video, I'm going to explain about coordinate system setting. This process is very important and essential for measuring parts. So let's take a look at the definition. So it means move the MCS, which is machine coordinate system, to PCS, it's part coordinate system, by constraining 6 degrees of freedom of the part. So MCS is short for Machine Coordinate System. It's a coordinate system that CMM has itself. So it's basically like a default setting of the CMM. So PCS is short for Part Coordinate System. It is a coordinate system that assigns origin to a specific part of the product according to the designer's intention. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. Let's take a look at the principle of coordinate system setting. All kinds of parts have six different movements. This is called six degrees of freedom. In this six degrees of freedom, there are two different movements. Three of linear motion and three of rotational motion. So when you put the part you want to measure on the bed, it can't be aligned exactly the same as MCS. So therefore, we measure basic features on the, according to the part datum, and then constrain the parts 6 degrees of freedom. Then the coordinate system for the part is aligned mathematically perfect. This becomes as PCS. Okay, let's talk about steps of setting PCS. There are three steps for setting PCS, and uh, this is first, leveling. So leveling constrains two rotational motions and one linear motion. It constrains two rotational motions, so it determines the parts, degrees of freedom overall. To constrain those two rotational motions, the feature you want to do leveling must have axes such as these features. And then the second step, rotation. Rotation constrains one rotational motion that wasn't be able to constrain via, via leveling and one linear motion. It still requires to constrain rotational motion, so the feature you want to do rotation must have assets such as these features. And for the third step, translation. Translation constrains whichever linear motions are left over after leveling and rotation. By the meaning of constraining linear motion is it only requires x, y, and z coordinate. Therefore, so all basic features are available for translation. So then, finally, all of six degrees of freedom of the part are constrained mathematically. This is what the process of setting coordinate system. Okay, let's take a look at these useful terms for measurement. First, dimension. It is a size of the indicate position and angle from the drawing. Tolerance. It is the range that allows the change of a specified dimension. And the next size tolerance. It is the range that allows the change and the added on the dimension. And the datum. It is the theoretically accurate point, line, axis, or plane based on the measurement. So you can see here the datum symbol letters here. Usually use A to Z, all kinds of alphabets, but exceptionally, I and O and Q are not applicable as the datum symbol letter because they may be confused with numbers. And the basic dimension. It is the theoretically accurate dimension. You can see here, numbers are indicating in a box. This is basic dimension. And basic dimension does not have any 
allowable range, which is tolerance. And the next page, we're gonna have a look at these things to help understanding drawing or parts. So first, you need to check the datum. Surface, plane, point, shaft, center, that is theoretically accurate. Datum is very important for the drawing, which is reference for all the other dimensions. That's why, the first step, you need to check the datum. Check the dimension line, check the position of an origin. So yeah, dimensions are coming out from the origin, so the origin can be very important or some kind of references as well. Check tolerance. Feature with small tolerance range, which means important part. Production process. If you know the process for the producing, then you might be able to understand the part more easily. And product characteristics and assembly method. Check the standard feature depending on the characteristics of the product. Check the features as assembly standard as well. So for example, if you think of gears or bearings, you can easily assume that the center of the gears or bearing most likely are the one for the datum, which means references for the part. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching this video and I'll be back with you guys in the next video. Thank you.